Ephemeris is a dark fairy tale about magic, grief, and the limitations of human power. This book was written, illustrated, and printed by H.M. Batzel at the University of Florida for the 2017 Coffee Book Arts Residency. Its story was inspired by research into occult and magical texts at the school's George A. Smathers libraries. The illustrations are letterpress printed, mostly from linoleum blocks, including the components that make up the movable pages. Inspired by paper engineer Lothar Megendorfer, these moving pages include both paper-only mechanisms and those that incorporate metal pens to add articulation to the characters. The typeface was created for the book by the author, based on a linoleum-cut alphabet. 45 copies of the book were co-produced by Batzel and book artist Ellen Knudsen. The story's protagonist, a powerful magician, lives next to the Devil's Millhopper, a magical pit in the earth that benefits his occult operations. One day, his apprentice of many years falls ill, and the magician notices the apprentice's golden soul slowly drifting into the pit, a sign of certain doom. He's not worried. He's confident in his ability to bend the course of nature and stop the hand of death. When a pack of imps appears and offers to save the apprentice if he slaughters a local farmer's pigs, he proudly rebukes them. He tries every trick in his magical book, and when they fail, he lashes out in anger by creating unnatural creatures. A basilisk, a mass of serpents, and the titular ephemeris, a four-legged bird that lives only one day. Finally, he creates the elixir of life, the union of wine and gold, and administers it to his apprentice, to no effect. In desperation, his heart full of shame, he slaughters the farmer's pigs, but the pack of imps do not reappear to help. By this time, the soul has begun to sink into the water at the base of the pit, and the magician dashes in to retrieve it himself, even knowing that touching such a thing is dangerous. The soul is so heavy, and he hates himself for being strong of mind but not of body. He hates the magical texts that sounded so self-evident, that had convinced him he had any real power in the face of death. Knowing his battle is lost, the magician falls to his knees and finally cries, Oh, Eric. In the final dark and quiet scene, the magician cradles his apprentice for one more moment before his strength betrays him and the apprentice is lost. To see more work by H.M. Batzel, you can visit hannahbatzel.com.